Hey again, so here's a tutorial on using Dapper as your ORM to do database queries in your .NET project. Now I'm just really going to do the setup here, so come back if you want to see more as I go. I'm just doing my Welsh verbs project as practice. I've already done in an earlier video setting up the database in SQL Server Management Studio, so check that out if you're interested. But let's continue. Now I've got my very very simple table with two columns the absolute bare minimum ready to connect to my asp.net mvc or asp.net core mvc project so i haven't set it up yet so the first thing i want to do is i want to get dapper installed as a package okay so manage new get packages for solution and let's browse to dapper And Dapper is a bit like Entity Framework if you're not familiar, but it means you can just put direct SQL queries in your code in a safe and secure way. So let's tick to add that. Later stable, that should be fine. Now let's install. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see if this is actually a genuine error or it's just something that's done that's weird. Okay, these are my scripts. I'm not worried about that. It's a uh, yeah, we can ignore those for now. Let's see if that builds and then goes away. Control Shift and B. Yep, all right, not to worry at this point. Let's just get Dapper in there. So I've got it, as you can see, installed. And I now just want to add a connection string. So if I come over to here, I want to go to the app settings.json file. And let's open that. And I need to add then connection strings so and remember you can get things like ChatGPT or perplexity ai to do this for you if you're not sure i'm always using them to help me and to figure these kind of things out i recommend perplexity ai the free version i've got is great um just a, a better alternative to ChatGPT, in my opinion okay so now this i want to generate a string for but i've got to get the connection name to my database server now if i come back over to sql server you can see it's this right so i really want to copy and paste that instead of typing it so i think the easiest way to do this if i go to properties and then if i go to database not settings and i forget now general i'm just looking for anywhere that it says oh yeah so if I come in view connection properties down here and you can see then I can double click the server name under the product and paste that across so I want to then do this okay so I want to now yeah I'm not going to do this let me let me just get it to do chat GBT or sorry perplexity AI to do it for me so I'll paste that in so I'm asking it to make me a I'll just show you the prompt I'm actually using. Okay, and let me just add in in-app settings.json file because I did that just as a take then. Didn't quite work. So let's turn the pro on just to get my free advanced query for the day. I've only got five. So it's come out with this. I could have given it my database name, but that's fine. All right, let's see. Now, it hasn't done dapper. Um, so I want to actually do database equals dapper insert that into there okay so it's default connection it's going to be this now i've put too many strings in oh, too many quotes that's fine okay and i think i take off that comma let me just zoom that in for you so Control and plus to zoom it in and i've got the word wrap so it breaks onto the next line um yeah i've got I do need to escape the backslashes, but only put an extra one in per. Okay. My SQL local DB. All 
and I need to change the your database name to the database name I need. So let's have a look again, Michael uh, SQL Server Management Studio. So my database is actually Welsh Verbs, right? Okay, yeah, database name is Welsh Verbs. Let's see. If I just copy and paste that to be sure, I know it's simple to type, but I always want to do that. Trusted connection equals true. And I got this one from the .NET Mastery channel. It's a good channel to check out as well. You can add in this extra line. Multiple active results sets equals true. And I, from a quick look, I think that means that you can then um, have multiple queries on a single connection, which is going to be useful for my project. So yeah, if it's useful for yours, check that out. Be sure to do it yourself as well. So let's see. Now that is going to be my default. Obviously, if you're working in something a bit more involved, you might want to just make sure that you're putting this only in the development version because then you're not going into live. But mine's a simple project, so I'm just going to connect to that database. OK, so let's have a look now to see if anything's registered that. So if I have a look at SQL Server Databases, Connected Services, let's just cross out of that for a moment. And you can see the default connection has been picked up. Let's see. OK, SQL Server Object Explorer. Uh, what have we got? Databases and bingo. So I can actually see now that I've connected the two. Now, as I said, this was just going to be basic setup. There is more to do, and I'm going to do that in another video. So please come back and check on that, and I will show you then. So check out my next video for more. Just got the very basic connection string setup done here, and see you soon. Thanks for watching.